Wave 5 is out, let's get straight into the rankings. In 8th place we have GBA Sunset Worlds. Look, most things about this track are really good. You've got the adventurous music, the unique theming, the beautiful visuals, and fun obstacles. But Nintendo done goofed up as they literally forgot to add the sunset to this track. The time of day stays the same throughout, and this is no longer the true Sunset Worlds. I know they'll likely fix this in Wave 6, but for now this is the weakest track in the way of getting a simple B tier. At number 7 we have Tour Los Angeles Lands. This is the first city track to be split into proper sections. The first takes you along the beach, the second through Dodger Stadium, and the third through an oil field with split paths. While this is the most varied city track we've had so far, I'm not the biggest fan of how Nintendo handled the layout, though this still gets a high-end B tier from me. Coming in at 6th place is Tour Vancouver Velocity, a track I honestly expected to have a bit higher on the list. The reason this isn't higher is because I do feel the layout is quite underwhelming and Nintendo could have handled it better. Back to the positives, this has exceptional music, the visual looks stunning, and for what it's worth, it still has very fun track elements. Low A tier. Fifth place goes to my favourite city track as of yet, Tour's Athens Dash. This can barely qualify as a city track, as it, most of it is spent in the Acropolis, with the starting line in the Parthenon. The music takes after Indiana Jones, and the second lap gate going into the second lap is a nice surprise. This has become a fairly overlooked city track, and I hope more people recognise how great it is. Solid A tier. In fourth place we have GCN Daisy Cruiser, which is probably my favourite track to play in time trials. This track has a fantastic layout, taking you through a cruise ship. You go through a pool, a dining area, and winding corridors. The split paths here make this a really fun one to play, and the new remix is breathtaking with its added strings. I don't know what constitutes an S tier anymore, but this certainly gets it. Coming in at third place we have the shocker track of this wave, Wii Moonview Highway. Before I go on, this has the best remix of any track in the wave, and I especially love the city portion. About its layout, this track doesn't disappoint. The cars have been toned down a little from Wii, but I'm happy to see the bob -on car make its way over to a deluxe. I'm proud to say this track also gets an S tier. In second place with another S tier goes to the fan favourite, Wii Coop Cape. This track is so popular for good reason. You start by going through some rocky cliffs, turn over to a river which speeds you up before dropping you down into a pipe in anti-gravity. While I am sad that the Cooper Zappers don't return from Wii, this track is still an exceptionally fun one to play with a fun theme as well. Cooper Cape is a kingly track. And in first place we have the Nitro track of this wave being the S tier Squeaky Clean Sprint. This track is Ninja Hideaway meet Ribbon Road, with the abundance of split paths coming to the home setting. This track is a very fun and varied layout, and an exceptional music theme to boot. This is my favourite Nitro track so far, and it makes me super hyped for Wave 6. Bring it on. Thank you all so much for watching, and subscribe to Albert Boring.